it's time. What's going on, beautiful people? I am the Grandmaster, and I also go by D-Ray, and I'm your coach of the San Diego Snugglers, and today we are taking on Root, aka Root. <laughs> I am Root. I love that name. Uh, coach of the New Jersey Brobats, and if you're excited for the final week of the UBL Make sure you shadow claw that thumbs up button. If you're new, por favor, which means please hit the subscribe button. Turn on post notifications, hit the bell button to get notified every single time we post a new video. So this is week nine of the UBL. We're done. This is it. We're, we're, we're at the home stretch. This is the finale. Hopefully not for us. Here's the situation we're looking at, right? Um, well, first, before I get into that, we're going to talk about the team, what we're going to bring, why we're going to bring it, and then we're hopping into the matchup. As you know, if you are not new here, this is this is fucking, this is what we do. <laughs> this is what we do. Um, here's here's the landscape of the league, right? We are uh, sitting. I believe the record is here. I'll look. I'll check it out for you guys right now. We are sitting. So here's the here here's the here's the, here's the whole gist of the things, right? Because we lost spoilers to Jack last week in a very, very, very close matchup. We brought our A game. It was neck and neck. It was David versus Goliath. It was fucking Titan on Titan. God Godzilla versus Kong. Fucking phenomenal matchup. Shout out to Jack, aka Gravy. Phenomenal battler. Gave me everything he's got. Gave him everything I got. I just came up a little bit short. We were one power whip away from winning that game. If he misses the last power whip, Gothitelle is able to rest up. Um, and his last two Pokemon cannot break it and there we win, but unfortunately uh, Didn't work out for us wasn't in the cards, so we did take an L which puts us in this really particular situation um, so we are sitting currently at four and four uh, and Here's the thing the Chicago Dragapults also four and four the West Virginia Minioras also four and four the Maryland Tartar Tar Terrapins also four and four um the the god damn it auto i can't pronounce your team name the nijman nigmegan nijmegan nuzleafs also four and four the atlanta victinis also four and four the last two slots are going to come to a team they're either going to be four and four or one's going to get one in that's five or four and five that's just going to be the way that it works um five and four basically locks you into playoffs for the most part um with the loss to jack it, it, put, it, it puts us back. We wouldn't have to be in this position. It would be more so for fighting for seeding, which is what uh, Root is doing right now. Root is sitting at five and three as we speak. So he is technically still in playoffs. He's locked in because he's got five wins for the most part, right? Something bananas has to happen. Like someone has to, two coaches have to 6-0 someone which is highly unlikely so roots sitting pretty he's just fighting for seeding at this point we're fighting to keep our spot right so if we win this game i'm not saying that we're in i'm saying that it is highly likely highly highly likely so we win this game we did the deed the cards will fall as they may and then we'll go from there so if you're excited for this matchup guys pull up a chair get your popcorn ready <laughs> and hit the lights Alrighty, boys and girls, as we've done in weeks past, which is a nice, fast way for you guys to see the team, because I know a lot of you skip the team builders, which is why the effort really isn't there for team builder slides. Stop skipping the team builders. <laughs> All right, uh, the first Pokemon we're going to be bringing, I'm going to pull this up so I can follow along with you guys. We're going to pull it up here so you can see it all pretty inside the game. We have Seismitoad. Seismitoad showing up with Leftovers as its item. We have Water Absorb as its ability. Scald, Earth Power, Power Whip, and Stealth Rock. We are running really, really bulky Seismitoad, a very physically defensive Seismitoad with basically almost max HP, a bunch of defense, and some spadef. Um, this is here with the Water Absorb ability to um, be able to essentially wall the Rotom Wash. The only thing that it can do to us is Will-O-Wisp us or Toxic us, status us essentially. But we're immune to its electric type stab and we're, we're immune to Hydro Pump. So it can't touch us unless it's like Hex or some weird dumb shenanigans. I've done that in the past. I've done like Will-O-Wisp plus Hex or Toxic plus Hex. That's a pretty cool set against Tizmatoad, but I don't anticipate that to come. 
if he does have the Will-O-Wisp, we brought Scald and Earth Power instead of Scald and Toxic. And um, we do have the Power Whip there to do super effective damage onto the Rotom, so we're still able to hit that because it can't be touched by Earth Power, and Scald doesn't do much, right? So even though we're burnt, Power Up's still doing a chunk. We're just gonna chunk away at it. We're gonna try our best to set up Stealth Rock. Um, his, his spinner could probably be Paragonal. I didn't, I didn't talk about that, real quick. I'm sorry. Real quick before we get before we move on, I'll put it right here on the on the little corner right there. Uh, Roots team consists of he's got Celesteel of Victini, Porygon 2, Rotom Wash, Zerud. Well, my my controller has not been working. Rabombi, Duraludon, Kragnal, Sand Slash, Turtonator, Pincer. My controller I think has been. I don't know what's with my controller. It's been it's been doing weird stuff. Anyway, that is that is his team. Uh, so this is gonna basically be our main switch into Vitini. I do acknowledge that this thing freaking gets crazy coverage. Vitini is busted. It gets energy ball. We do have to scout for that. We'll be doing some switching around in order for us to find that out. Um, I did not want to run. Um, I feel as though personally, I thought that uh, the Rindleberry is much more valuable. No, sorry. Leftovers is more valuable than Rindleberry because it's just one time I can switch into the energy ball. Yeah, I could probably kill it with Scald. That is a thing. It's a good lore, but I would rather have the longevity on Seismitoad than to just get chipped down because the Rotom's only way, like I said, to break this thing down is with status. And if it's a toxic, then I'm kind of fucked. So that's definitely a thing. That's definitely a thing. So that's going to be the Seismitoad. Uh, next Pokemon we're going to be bringing is going to be Jailbreak the Clef Key. This Pokemon is going to be really good this matchup. We're running leftovers this week with the Prankster ability because obviously it's the only, I think, ability that it gets and it's the best. Anyway, um, our Clef Key is running almost max HP and the rest of it basically is in Spadef. Uh, we have a lot of attack investment. Um, what do we have attack investment for? Oh no, we moved that. We moved this around. Sorry, the investment of the of of Clef Key has moved from attack. We put it on Spadef. We put it on Spadef, um, and then uh, 76 we put in in defense. So yeah, we're basically almost max Spadef, essentially, right? So Clef Key is here because we are running uh, hazards, foul play, toxic, that's something. Uh, originally, I had Thunder Wave. Moved it to Toxic because of his bulky Pokemon are be super duper annoying. Porygon, very annoying. Uh, Kragnal, I've done bulky Kragnal sets, very, very annoying. Um, what else do we want Toxic for? Because I'm very scared of what? Porygon, Rotom, because I can't really touch Rotom. Um, Kragnal, and Turtonator. Turtonator is the thing. If I can catch Turtonator, yeah, it's gonna do super effective damage with fire moves. But Homeboy has run bulky Turtonators a lot, and I'm, I think I'm not, maybe not a lot, just recently. And it was Rest, but if he brings Rest, it doesn't matter. But anyway, uh, Toxic is for the bulky Pokemon. <laughs> Very important. Uh, and then we have Dazzling Gleam there for our stab to be able to do a bunch of damage to a bunch of different things. Uh, oh yes, Foul Play is there primarily in case we can catch the Vitini. If it's physically offensive, it bops it. Because Vitini is fucking terrifying. <laughs> Vitini is fucking terrifying. But that's Klefki. Next Pokemon we have. We have Drekovish, aka quarterback number one, the MVP of our franchise. To be honest with you, I don't even know. I may even do another franchise with Drake as my logo. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Fish is Ren, Leech Life, Earthquake, and Outrage. Probably not, by the way. Probably not. Um, if I did, it'd probably be like. Right, you or Snorlax, because I love those Pokemon. Uh, Fishes Rent, Life, Leech Life, Earthquake, and Outrage. So, Leech Life is there for Zerud, and Zerud only is four times super effective, and it bops it. I think it does a minimum of like 80% to a non HP invested Zerud, which is phenomenal. Fishes Rent is because of the button. Because the button. Um, ironically enough, the Duraludon is actually a really good trek to um, Dracovish as well. So that's why we have the Earthquake. And Outrage is there for our Dragon type stab. If we can get rid of the Robombi or if it doesn't even come, then Outrage is going to be super spammable. And um, we have, we're basically Jolly, uh, Max Special, uh, Max Special, sorry, Jolly, Max, Jolly, Max Attack with enough speed to outspeed a timid Max Speed Robombi by one point. Very clutch. No, timid, modest. Timid or modest? Rabombi. I should probably find this out because we're about to play the game right now. Rabombi, level 50. Timid. Do I outspeed you? I do. I outspeed a timid max speed Rabombi, which is phenomenal. So this is the fastest Pokemon on the field unless he sets up sticky webs or he brings another choice scarfer. 
choice scarf with teeny i probably would anticipate like a choice scarf cryogonal probably it's something i would do because it's able to freeze dry and kill this thing that is scarfed and is able to do massive damage to the seismitoad if not knock it out because we're physically defensive but he doesn't know that but that's Drakovich. next pokemon we have is going to be trinidad Trinidad, which is the middle name of my son. Uh, Zoroark is coming with Focus Sash this week because um, we do have Rapid Spin. Spoilers. I think we can do a pretty good job of keeping Hazards away. And this thing offensively rips him to shreds. Rips him to shreds. I really was debating on running Nasty Pot, to be honest, right? So we have Dark Pulse there for our main stab, right? Dark Pulse is broken um, because of flinches. Uh, Dark Void is cool, but it's a 40% chance to lower accuracy for my opponent, but it could still hit, right? So the flinch flinch chance versus them missing, but I cannot get the accuracy drop. I could still get the flinch. I think Dark Pulse is better. Plus, Dark Void can miss. That's a thing. Focus Blast. We put that on there for uh, Zerud because obviously, no, no, not Zerud. We put that on there for uh, Dirtaladon. For Dirtaladon. It's super effective against the Dirtaladon, the Duraladon. Uh, that thing, Spadef, is abysmal. Fucking sucks. So I, I like Duraladon as a Pokemon, just especially defensive. If it had more Spadef, I would love it even more. But it'd be used as a really good uh, move soaker or sponge, you should say, uh, as a steel type and the dragon typing, which is a phenomenal typing, by the way. So Focus Blast is there to bop that. Flamethrower is there for the Zerud. Uh, why you gotta be Zerud? I believe that we put enough speed on here to outspeed an adamant max speed Zerud by one point. If he runs Jolly, he runs Jolly. And if he runs Jolly, that means he's not going to be hitting as hard, which is really, really nice. Uh, knockoff is there to get rid of items. We are running, I believe, the Hasty Nature. Yeah, the Hasty Nature. Yes, yes, the Hasty Nature. So we can do just a little bit more damage with our with our uh, knockoffs there. Uh, we also invested into his attack. So if we can catch things on the switch and we're going to disguise this as Dracovish, just bop with knockoff and do more damage and get rid of items, which is really nice. So we're basically uh, enough speed to outspeed an Adam and max speed Zer uh, Zer Zerud. Sorry, Zerud, like I said. Um, and uh, the rest in special attack and 36 in attack with a hasty nature. Next mod we have is Tesla, aka Zapdos. I love Love, love, love Zapdos. Heavy duty booties in case for whatever reason we can't get rocks off the field. If it brings Sand Slash, if it brings another rock setter, just in case. We don't want to take 25% every single time we come in. This is going to be our pivot Pokemon. Uh, this is our, also going to be our main answer to, our main switch into Zerud because Zerud's kind of a problem. If we can eliminate Zerud, then Dracovish just rips this team a new one, tears it apart. So, Zora, I mean, uh, Zapdos, too many Zs. Zorark, <laughs> Zerud, and Zapdos rip <laughs> is going to be that check to that pokemon uh we have thunderbolt volt switch hurricane and roost again i don't think the sand slash comes i really i really truly don't that's his ground type right unless i'm tripping here yeah his ground type is sand slash it doesn't it, it's not gonna come it's not gonna come it's not i don't think it is i i know i refuse to believe sand slash comes with a fucking Z uh dracovish on the team no it's it's gonna die anyway we're bringing volt switch over u-turn I think that's really, really nice, right? The sound of the ground. Am I looking over another ground type? No, it's just sand slash. Cool ground type. Not that good, though. Cool ground type. Just not that good. Uh, Hurricane, in my opinion. Hurricane is there for our stab. It's able to Oko the Zerud, which is phenomenal. Roost is there for longevity. We are static over pressure because static is going to be really nice to punish all of these U-Turners. My man's has U-Turn, Volt Switch, and Teleport up the Wazoo. Up the Yuyin. All up in there. <laughs> He's got U-Turn on, on Vitini. He's got Volt Switch on Rotom, which doesn't affect Static. But he's got uh, U-Turn on Vitini. He's got U-Turn on Zerud. He's got U-Turn on Robombi. He's got, uh, and that's it. Yeah, so all the U-Turners. We want to punish the U-Turners, especially the Zerud. Very, very important. Um, we were basically very, very bulky, almost max HP with a little bit of defense. That way we can chew hits from the Zerud and then bop it with the Hurricane. That's the idea. Next mod we have is coming in. Hot, we have Rocky with a special custom sprite. Shout out to Livy Sama. This is the custom sprite from last season of the NCP. I think season number four. I want to draft this thing a little bit more often and use it better. I just don't draft it. I don't draft it on teams that need a fighting type. This Pokemon's really good low tier. This is a phenomenal low tier Pokemon. It gets coverage off the wazoo, boosted. They get all the elemental punches. Boost, except for Sucker Punch, which is dumb. Uh, and boosted by Iron Fist. Phenomenal. And a super spadef. Bulky, we're taking advantage of it this week with the Assault Vest. This is going to be our special Victini switch in. <laughs> 
Vitini is broken. <laughs> Vitini is broken. Uh, if he's got a psychic type move, fuck it. There's nothing we can do about it. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> that's all I got, bro. <laughs> Fucking Vitini. Dog, I had it. Show me another switch into Vitini on my team. Size Toad, obviously. But then he, Energy Ball, I dead. <laughs> I, I don't have another <laughs> Vitini is fucking borked. I don't have I don't have I, I don't have Vitini counterplay. So this is the Vitini counterplay. <laughs> so we're running Iron Fist obviously to boost our drain punches and our fire punches. We're running a salt vest to have the max. My controller is not working anymore. I need to get a new controller. Alright, let's go back to where There you are. Okay. So that was weird. My controller does not work anymore. Um Hopefully that doesn't affect us in the matchup. Throw Chop is there for the Vitini. Fire Punch is there for a lot of his team. For Celesteela, for Zerud, for Bombi, for Duraludon, neutral damage, for Cryogonal, for Pinsir. It does so much. Drain Punch, Stab, able to get that residual recovery back to make, take more advantage of our Salt Vest. Rapid Spin for Hazards and for that speed control. Uh, we have enough speed to outspeed a modest Rabombi by one point at plus one i think is what i did there shout out to utilizing all of your evs guys use all of your evs rabambi if you're modest is that what i did i did i also beat it yep good stuff so that's pretty cool uh drain punch is there uh for i just already said that anyway that's that Chan. my brain is locked in on this game so i'm slurring my words that is going to be the team let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Uh, and we're going to give it everything we got. We're going to try to squeeze on into playoffs and see how the how the cookie crumbles. Um, grab your snacks, guys. Pull up a chair. Let's get this popping. I'm going to cut to get connected to root, and I'll see you guys over in the matchup. Beautiful people, we have arrived. We are inside the game. Let's get this popping. This is going to be a massive game for the playoff implications. Uh, we're going to give it everything we've got. Um, Root was gracious enough to give us this team right before we started. We were 90% correct. We thought that the Celesteela will come. Instead, he brings the Rabombi. So Rabombi comes over Celesteela from the Pokemon that we assumed were going to come. So, uh, now my thing is I kind of want to lead with Tesla in case he wants to lead with Rabombi and or um, the... Zerud, I think is the play. It's also able to outspeed the the Rotom, which is really nice. If he leads a Cryogonal, that's a little bit of an issue, but I think that we can handle that. So I'm okay with leading um leading Tesla. To be honest. I have to make sure that Dracovish is in the sixth slot. Yeah. Okay. So the reason we want to read that is because in case he reads he leads the Vitini. We don't want to leave Jailbreak in there with Teeny. That's good. Cool. We said it in the DMs already, but good luck, have fun to root. I've been looking forward to this game for a couple days now. We played Jack Ashley like three days ago, so that's a thing. And uh, I have like a little speck on my computer. And I'm, I'm nervous. I'm real, real nervous. <laughs> uh, whatever happens, happens. We gotta. This is basically a playoff, playoff game, you can say. He does leave with I eat pants. Okay, cool. So. We can simply just U-turn here. I'm not sure really what he wants to do with me. I'm gonna turn the uh, headphones in my head down so I don't get my ears blown out. But I think I'm cool with just trying to Thunderbolt here because he doesn't have an immunity to it. I mean, what's the worst that this thing can do to us, right? So let's get rid of this. Let's do a little calky calc real quick. Rotom, wash. It's not really much this thing could really do. I'm pretty bulky. Um, I kind of want to get damaged. Let's get uh, some Thunderbolt damage off on this and see what he wants to do. Get a little T-Bolt action. Almost half. Goes for Volt Switch. Okay. That's fine. Brings us down to 146. Rotom Wash. Okay. Volt Switch should be doing 22 min. That brought us down to six. So that did 26%. So that's looking like it's a non-invested Rotom. So probably max HP. Our Thunderbolt did 30 to 40. Yeah, so it's looking like a max HP Rotom. Looking like a max HP Rotom. 
pretty much. Cryogonal could probably come in here. If Cryogonal comes in, we're probably just going to bring in Jailbreak, and I would expect him to go for a knockoff. I think. That's looking like going to be the sequence of events here, but that Thunderbolt damage is going to be huge because that's non-recoverable damage, and I wanted to get something off for Dracovish a little bit later on. The moment we're able to remove that, uh, that's a rude. Dracovish is just gonna go in. So we're gonna go ahead and bring in Toad. If he's got Energy Ball and he predicts this in front of a Zapdos, I don't know what to say. Could be a play that he makes. I've seen Roots games. Roots can Root can get kind of, Root can get kind of spicy. Root can get kind of spicy. He goes for Blue Flare. Okay. So this is a special variant. So most likely it does indeed have, it does indeed have the Energy Ball. So, let's see. There, Bombi. Pretty sure he gets energy ball, right? Because Vitini gets like all the moves. All right. Um, I want to scout this and see what he goes for. How much does Vitini do to? Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm, I'm drifting. <laughs> My controller's drifting. Got me down to 164. Let's see. How offensive is this thing? This is super duper information. It's always good to take your time in the beginning, find out the information that you need. That's the one thing that I've learned throughout my time in Draft League. This is a timid nature. He went for a blue flare. This sucks that I have to type all this stuff in the fucking calc in order for this to go through. It brought us down to 164. So, 222%. Blue flare. It's looking like non-invested? What? Interesting. Let's bring in, let's bring in Rocky. Let's bring in Rocky and see if he's got the energy ball. Timid max special attack. He does have energy ball. Okay, that doesn't do much. That's okay. If he's got psychic, it's gonna do a chunk to the chunk. Um, we do have the assault vest though. I think our place to go for a rapid spin. I mean, a throw chop and get some damage off on this thing. We do live the hit though, which is nice. Shout out to having my custom shiny sprite. <laughs> Isn't that cool? That's the custom shiny sprite that I got from the NCP last season for Hitmonchan. I love Hitmonchan. I need to find a way to make it more of a centerpiece because this Pokemon, this Pokemon's coverage plus um everything else. Oh, no psychic coverage. Cool, we'll take that, we'll take that. So whatever wants to come in here is gonna take a little chunky chunk. Um, the only thing that's really gonna be a pain in the butt is if he brings in Robombi. I think. There's B, okay. Okay, so I guess he doesn't have the psychic move, which is really good. That's good to know. So Vitini has shown blue flare, and has shown energy ball, and has shown U-turn. We still did a chunk. Don't get it twisted. That still did a chunky chunk. We're gonna bring a jailbreak here. Um, if he goes for a U-turn, he can go for a U-turn. That's fine. Sticky web will be annoying. We do have rapid spin on Hitmonchan, so we do have to kind of, um, you know, tread softly there. We do have to tread softly there. Um, probably the Vitini comes out here now. So it's going to be like one of those kind of things. P chain. There's Vitini. Yep. You turn, you turn, you turn, huh? Uh, do I want to stay in a T. Do I have T wave? Did I keep T wave on here? I didn't. It did not keep T-Wave. Um, that's a good mid-ground play. What do we need totally for? What do we need totally for? I'm gonna bring it totally. If he predicts this and goes for the energy ball, great play. But I'm kind. Of, this is the kind of the position that I'm in right now. I need um, Clef Key a little bit more at the moment. So he goes to the blue flare. And I'm going to switch again. Or I could just stay in. I could just stay in. I kind of want to just stay in. Let's Scald. I'm going to Scald this time. If he wants to go for Energy Ball, he can. He goes for U-Turn. Okay, so we got him. So we're going to get a Scald off here. Nothing here wants to take a Scald. Except for maybe the, the Rotom. The Rotom probably actually comes in here, now that I think about it. But if the Rotom comes in, um, it's my chance to set up Stealth Rock. 
That is my chance to set up Stealth Rock. There's there's Rotom. Okay. So we're gonna set up rocks here. I could get rid of it though. I mean this thing's the half. I could go for power whip. Stealth rock is nice though, because it's looking like this is the defogger, or he probably has um at the spin on Kragonal. Is what I was assuming, but he can't touch me, so I'm gonna go for a if I go for power whip, what does he bring in here? I kinda wanna power whip and get rid of this. This is one of the Dracovish answers. You can go for Will-O-Wisp if he wants to. But I'm going to... I'm a Stealth Rock. I'm going to get on my rocks. He's doing a lot of switching. A lot of his strategy has a lot to do with... Um, a lot of his strategy has to do with... Um, U-turning. He's got... You turn on everything. He basically has momentum on everything except for Kragnall. Which is my kind of play style. I love that. Big kudos to Root. So he toxic me. He didn't burn me. Which is nice. So actually on this play, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a power whip. Being toxic on this thing kind of sucks. He can go for um, he can go for defog if he wants to, but I'm going to power whip. Goes for defog. Okay. I think we I think we kill him here. Pretty sure. Oh, he just barely hangs on. Just barely hangs on. All right. So this thing is basically dead to Dracovish. Dracovish is going to bop this. This is like bold max defense. Did I just go for a Scald here? Or did I just get on my rocks? Yeah, Ren still kills from this range. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up my rocks. I'm gonna trade, I'm gonna trade, I need to get rocks up. I need to get rocks up. Um, Rotom is basically dead to him here, but there's nothing that he could do really to, to size Mateo, so maybe he even switches out. Goes for Toxic again, okay. So on the, on the, on the Defog, I think I'm just gonna get in Dracovish. Or I could get in um, Zapdos. I for sure can get in Zapdos. But I think the smart play here is to just power whip. Yeah, I'm a power whip. Goes for defog. Okay. He really doesn't want defog. So I'm assuming that maybe the Vitimi is in boots. Or maybe he doesn't have boots on, on his mons that don't have anything. So we do get rid of the Rotom, which is really nice. Toad kills Rotom. Okay. Sweetness. You love to see it. You love to see it. Uh, we can save totally as a sack. We can still save totally as a sack. It doesn't really do much this game except for giving me that switch into Vitini. He really didn't want rocks up. <laughs> he really did not want rocks up. So that leads me to believe that the Vitini, the Vitini or the Rabombi probably is not boots. I didn't catch if the U-turn did any life orb damage. Don't remember, to be completely honest. There's the B. Um. There's no real reason for me to keep this, right? I could just go for it. I could just bring in Jailbreak. Let's bring in Jailbreak. Let's save Toad as a sack. Let's save Toad as a sack. Um, this thing doesn't touch. This thing doesn't touch Klefki. Uh, mind you, this is our Robombi, right? This is Robombi. This is our, our drop. So we let Robombi go. Robombi started this season with us. And, um... And unfortunately, he had to, you know, bite the dust here. So I'm assuming that this is going to switch out here. So I'm actually going to... What do we want to do? I'm going to set up spikes. I'm going to set up some spikes. Get with the draws here. Oh, look at that. Didn't U-turn. That's choice specs. 
And I could probably test that damage too, actually, now that I think about it. That did kind of do a lot, didn't it? There's this. Awesome. Get a layer of spike up. Alright, so we were at 129. That actually did do a lot now that I think about it. That didn't cross my mind. 129. That brought us down. We we're at full. That's 121. Rabombi. Rabombi. 21. If this thing is not choice specs, 21 points. Oh, yeah, that's specs. Oh, yeah, that's specs. We're going to toxic here. Getting a toxic off on the Porion, going to be super clutch. Do get it off. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Let's see what this Porygon wants to do. He probably wants to maybe teleport. Thunderbolt. Okay. So from 139 down to 196. And his defogger is gone. Ladies and gentlemen, his defogger is gone. His thing is dying. I can just go ahead and spike up here for days. Set up another layer of spikes. With the draws. Get a little bit of leftovers recovery. Sends in P-Chan. Does this take rocks? It does take rock. It does take spikes. Let's go. We set up another layer of spikes. Cool. Layer number two. His defogger is gone. Uh, if we can get a third layer of spikes, that would be phenomenal. If we could still have the rocks up, that would be even better. But shout out to Toad for giving us his, giving us this chance. We're going to go ahead and sack him off here. Thank you so much. Totally. Your service was phenomenal. Um, he could just go for U-turn here. If he does, that's fine. That gives us free scald. Or we can give us a chance to go for um, Stealth Rock. Goes for Blue Flare. I think this still kills. Yeah, it does. Okay. Thank you, totally. I appreciate you, brother. Um, teeny kills. Kills Toad. Shout out to Totally. Totally the GOAT. Alright, so now the Vitini is in. Our place to bring in Dracovish. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So he changed up moves, so he is not choice scarfed. In comes Vish. In comes Vish. And I think that we just click Fish's Rend. I think we just click Fish's Rend. Or on some gangster shit. Hmm. Or we could just double. Let's double trying to catch the... Let's try to catch the Zerud. Let's see if we can catch the Zerud. Yep. Hi, buddy. <laughs> My son's outside. Oh, we caught the... Okay, so the Porygon is the switch-in. Alright, that's fine. So the Porygon is the switch. Ice Beam could probably do a Chunky Chunk. So I probably should have brought in Zorark there instead of... Instead of Trinidad. Let's see here. I kind of want to just U-turn... Or I could Thunderbolt. Let's Volt Switch. I'm gonna Volt Switch. <laughs> we kept the Volt Switch on here for a reason. Do a little bit more damage. That is super, 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 super spadef. Alright. Now we're gonna bring in... What? Let's bring in Jailbreak. On the Ice Beam. Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, Recover, Teleport. That's what I'm predicting. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Did not predict that. I thought he was going to go for Ice Beam, but we will take that every day of the week. We will take that every day of the week, all the way to the bank. And our play here is to go for yet another set of spikes. The third layer comes up. There's no way for him to remove them. With the draws. P Chain, that's Vitini. Now, as Kirby would say, we play the game, pick your sack. <laughs> oh god, this Vitini is terrifying. This Vitini is terrifying. The Krognal for sure is choice scarfed. The Krognal for sure is choice scarfed. 
I, I refuse to believe that it is not choice scarfed. Uh, we're gonna bring in Rocky. With the Rabombi being choice scarfed or choice scarfed or choice specs, um, which I'm assuming is specs from that damage that I did to Clef to Clefki. Um, this shouldn't be too a KO. Oh, it is. God, Vitini's strong. Oh my lord, Vitini is powerful. This thing is powerful. But it's going to allow us to get in Dracovish, which is phenomenal. Scorching Sands. Do I live this? Do we live this? <gasps> Let's go hit more champ. Let's go. Oh, I don't think that crit mattered. No, 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 no. I don't think that crit mattered. Hitmonchan. Let's 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 go ahead and uh let's let's calc it though. Let's calc it though. Let's give him the benefit of the doubt. Uh Vitini. He's got a little bit of HP investment. Or if he's got no let's see. If he's got a little bit of, it is 50 to 59%. I don't think that mattered. I don't I actually don't remember how much HP he had, but hey, we'll take that. We'll take those every day of the week. Every day of the week. Bettini is down. Bettini is down. All right, so Chan kills Tini. Um, and is there a reason not to just switch out and see this is a sack? I think we do. Let's bring in Jailbreak. This thing cannot touch me. And we just we just save uh we save Rocky as a sack. We save Rocky as a sack. <laughs> let's bring in let's bring in Klefki here. Goes for Sticky Web. Okay. That's mad unfortunate. So, with that being the case, with that being the case, well, I'm a dazzling gleam here. I'm gonna dazzling gleam. I think that Hitmonchan actually is still faster than than P2 under. Oh, so he's not choice. Okay, so he's not choice. What are you, Expert Belt? Are you Expert Belt? What do you bring in here now? P2? Uh, Hitmonchan to a Porygon. I think that I'm still faster. And you can't touch me. You cannot touch me. Um, I'm going to Toxic this. Do land the toxic, which is phenomenal. So now we can't do recover shenanigans on us. Goes for a sub. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> All right, cool. I'm glad that we. I'm glad that we went for that play. Um, I think that Hitmonchan at minus one is still faster than Porygon. Oh, maybe not. That actually may not be. Uh, our play here is to. Foul play. This should break the sub. Freeze dry. This is this is gonna tickle. 160 to 130, so that's 30 points of damage. That was a crit. Okay, that does even less then. That's that's good to know. That's actually really nice. It should break sub. It doesn't break sub. That's fine. The toxic is still there. Um, I kinda wanna keep going for foul plays though, or we go for dazzling. Yeah, let's razzle dazzle. Let's razzle dazzle on this play. All three layers of spikes are up. Freeze dry. Yeah, dude, we won't be one this all the time. Every single time. Cryo. I'm glad that we put Toxic over T Wave. That was definitely the play. For sure skis. For sure skis. Alright, so we showed the foul play. Foul play doesn't really matter here. Foul play doesn't do nothing to Zerud. We're going to be clicking Dazzling Gleam on that thing anyway. But we're going to get rid of this, which is going to make um, Dracovish just that much better. But Dracovish, if we can't get rid of the the webs, is going to be tough to maneuver here, for sure. We're going to Dazzle again. We're going to Razzle Dazzle. Goes for Freeze Dry. He's basically second off his Kragano. Yeah. So... Keys, kills, cryo. I should put with toxic. With toxic. Sweet. 
Woo! All right, we still gotta play. We still gotta play some more here, guys. Can't can't let up. Can't take the foot off the gas. Gotta put the pedal to the metal. Can't take the foot off the gas. I need to get off webs. If I get webs out of here, we we mad chilling. If we can get rid of webs, but it's looking like he can't he can't touch he can't touch he can't touch jailbreak. Why do I not just stay in here? I'm a dazzling. Moonblast, this is gonna tickle. Dude, Clef gave the go. Clef gave the absolute go. Oh my Lanta. Let's go, Clef Key. Let's freaking go, dude. Oh my gosh. Uh, we do want to stay healthy here. Uh, this thing does die on entry. I don't want to sack off. I don't want to sack off. Rocky here yet? I could just bring in Tesla. Let's bring in Tesla. I'm cool with bringing in Tesla. Tesla does help with the Zoroark. I mean the Zero Zero Aura. But I think we're okay here. This doesn't two hit KO. It does two hit KO. And he gets a special attack drop. That's unfortunate. Um <laughs> Actually, that may have been a misplay. Okay. Here's what we do. Here's what we do. That was a misplay. I think I have to sack off Rocky. Um, I did not think he was going to do that much damage. So he's definitely like modest. He's for sure modest. And that's fine. I'm cool with that. We're going to sack off. Uh, we're going to sack off Rocky here. I'm totally cool with this. Goes for the moon blast. And then we just bring back in keys, and then we kill it. Um, the special attack is now back to normal, and now we're doing max damage here. <sighs> Alright, so... B kills Chan. And then we click Razzle Dazzle. We click Razzle Dazzle. Goes for the Moon Blast. Oh, he still got it! Come on, dude. That's unfortunate. That's what we not. That's what we. That's the reason why we switched around all over the place. Damn it! Clef Key. Keys kills. B. Damn it, dude. That's why we switched around all over the place. That's unfort. There's a rude. Takes a bunch of fucking damage, dude. Um, we're obviously slower than this. Our play now is to clay toxic, in case he starts like freaking bulking up and shit. <sighs> Clicks power whip. I would have liked to get in this thing poisoned, but you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. So I think now we just bring in Dracovish. Uh, there's we're at full. There's no way that he kills us here. Zorark. Level 50. Yeah, there's no way he kills us here. Uh, I'm gonna go for a Leech Life. Leech Life is gonna kill. We live whatever hit he wants to go for. If he wants to bring in Porygon, that's fine. Bring in Porygon. Okay. Uh, where is my boy Klefki, the MVP of the game? The Bombi's also dead. It's a good game. Holy shit. It's a good game. I didn't need to get damage off on Zapdos there. I did want to preserve the special attack on my Clef Key. I didn't need to do that. He does stay in. He does hit. This does not kill. Now we go for a Leech Life, and this thing dies. Yep. 
Awesome. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Alright. Get all that health back. Vish kills Zarud. Oh, my hands are shaking. <laughs> we needed to win this game, baby. This is basically a playoff game for us. This is a playoff game for us. Now, this thing is poisoned, and it's slowly just going to die. Um, I could just go for... Yeah, I could just stay in here. And I'm a leech life. There's no reason for me not to. If he recovers, I'll switch. <laughs> Dracovish, I love you, buddy, but you're not very strong without Fish's Ren. <laughs> I love you, buddy, but you're not very strong without it. Okay. So, I think he dies of Toxic, though. He does die of Toxic. Awesome. GG's. So, Porygon dies to Tox from Keys. Klefki out here getting the kills, baby. Klefki out here getting the kills. GG's to my man Root. Uh, this game looked... Uh, it could have been a little bit higher in differential to help us out a little bit more because we do need that differential. But, at the end of the day... A win is a win, and if we don't win, nothing happens. So I'd rather win over get high differential, right? So, uh, do me the massive favor, guys. I, I like Root. He's an amazing human. He is always really, really nice to me whenever we speak. We haven't had the chance to really get to know each other. I would like to do some moving forward. So Root, when you watch this battle, we're friends now. <laughs> um, head over to his channel. There's a link to it down in the description below. Watch this side of the battle. Leave a like on his video. Leave a comment. Tell him that I sent you. The support on my fellow content creators is very much, very much so appreciated. And um, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, yo. We're hopefully on our way to playoffs. I don't know what's going to happen. This playoff race is extremely tight. Like, freaking neck and neck, dog. I, I wouldn't have to be in the position that I am now if I pulled out that win against Jack last week. Um, but hey, it wasn't in the cards. It's fine. We were able to pull out a win here. We did what we could do. We did everything in our power. Now it's just time to see what happens. Um, hopefully we'll see you guys next week. If we don't, it's been a phenomenal run here in the UBL. I'd like to take this moment to thank Automatic for inviting us to the league. It's definitely a dream come true. I was a big fan of this league a long time ago when I used to watch it back in the Dizzy. So to be here now is kind of surreal. So for this to be the first season that I've been able to, to, to come about and, and the way that it turned out, I'm, I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Um, whether or not we make playoffs, uh, there's a very good chance that we do. Um, it's just going to depend on numbers, right? It's just going to be that, that this rat race is very, very tight. So if I see you guys next week, um, we'll... Uh, it, it'll be a good one. I, I promise you that one. We're gonna try our best to get that championship If this is the last game, thank you guys so much for the support this season. It really does mean a lot to me um, Again, make sure you shadow claw that thumbs up button and we'll see you guys for future leagues if we don't move forward Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and above all else <laughs> Be nice peace